I did my B.Tech in Naval Architecture and after that I did went to IIT Delhi and did my post graduation. I was in the Navy as a Naval Officer and uh, as a Commander I shifted over to the Defense Research Development Organization and served as a senior scientist for many years till 2013. And uh, it, I did a lot of work in the area of Naval uh, Hydrodynamics Research. It was in 2013 I decided to get into the field of education, that was my passion. Well, if I try to connect the dot, I can say that from 2001 uh, onwards I was interested in the field of education when I was working with the B.Tech Naval Architecture students of Cochin University and from two, in 2007-2008 onwards I was working with the M.Tech Naval Architecture students of uh, Andhra University. So, I had this interest in education, but it is uh, in 2011 when my son went through a uh, deep problem in his academic performance and uh, which led to depression and he was struggling like anything and he had you know, lost the joy of learning. Uh, that is the time uh, when I decided uh, it was the father in me, of course, uh, wanted to do the best for, it was a choice between my career uh, and s supporting him in his learning and I felt there is a lot to do at that time and I decided to quit my job and uh, get into full time education initially to support him and I felt that that will be the work will not be a waste and it can be used for other children as well and parents like me. He was in class 10th and um, I noticed that so much of effort he was put, uh, the whole process of learning was so effortful. Uh, and uh, in class 11th of course the performance dropped like anything almost the verge of failing and class 12th he told me he does not want to study anymore. Uh, the load was so much and uh, when I, we had to take him to the psychiatrist and of course neurologist. We developed, the, develop, he had developed a problem called motor tics where the, you know, the eyeballs roll up and the eyelids uh, close and open and close at very, sh sh you know, large number of time in a few moment. But I really felt that there is a lot of a need, an urgent need to spend time with him and help him and pull him out from that uh, difficult situation. So, uh, first thing when I started helping him, the, I felt that good intentions are not uh, good enough. I need to know, I need to have the power of knowledge to help someone. So, that is the first step and the second step was uh, to go through various, you know, associate with various educationists, pedagogists, uh, understand the recent developments in learning. Uh, do, do I understood uh, this concept of cognitive acceleration where a child uh, by certain process can quickly learn and build the foundation required to learn more. So, this was the that that uh, the process which I went through and it was very lot of interactive learning with him. I think it was a very intense uh, part of our life where we both learned to learn. Like I must say that when I started uh, uh, helping him, uh, sometimes I would just go overboard and make a mess out of the situation and my wife who was a teacher would look at me and maybe at the end of it she will come and tell me, uh, you know, do not explain it this way, you are making it worse. And I think the good part I did is uh, was to take those inputs seriously and, uh, and I started working on it. Uh, really hard. One of the things that inspired my son was also I think the fact that I was working on it and I was gathering knowledge, sharing it about the neurophysiology of learning, what is brain friendly learning and what is the, what is, how do we grasp or retain and recall information, how to develop memory, how to sharpen your logical skills. I think the uh, uh, decade plus research in DRDO helped in that way because we are natural researchers and we, we did not have much problem in going up and looking up in the literature uh, and then drawing conclusions from it and experimenting. 
So, I think that was to explain the process in few sentences. Well, I think uh, my contribution in his life, number in his transformation in the area of learning, I think the first and most important contribution is that I could convince him uh, by example and by practice that uh, memory, logic, concentration and all these things like the learning skill, you are not born uh, with certain level of uh, memory or intelligence and or logical ability or concentration. You can develop it at any stage uh, and even at the age of 45 can develop or for, and he could also develop. So, that conviction uh, has helped him tremendously number one. Number two is that I found that brilliant children, they have an emotional connect with the topic we are, they are learning. It is not like they are learning something for an hour and close the book and say, enough and you know, tired of it kind of thing. No, they enjoy it and uh, even after an hour, they may close the book and just go walk into the kitchen and ask mom, hey, what is cooking and you may look into the frying pan. But then at the back of the mind, there is always a connection with what they have learned. Uh, that is the emotional connect and that greatly enhances learning and I think he understood that. Uh, that uh, that is another second m m biggest contribution. And the third I think is that um, I had this passion for integrated learning, you know, that the ability of the brain to connect uh, vertically uh, a topic and horizontally cross curricular link to make a warp and weft connections of what you are learning and make it into one single fabric of knowledge. Uh, that uh, integrated learning, I helped him in it and he accepted it with great joy. I think these are the three major contributions in his learning skill. Uh, the first uh, and the most observable change was that uh, there was uh, a joy of reinventing learning. Uh, like Benedict Carey says in uh, How We Learn that uh, learning is as addictive as chocolates. So, uh, there is a mood of celebration that comes with learning. I think that was the first uh, positive symptom uh, and uh, confidence. And uh, other thing is that before uh, he started learning something, he would ask this question, how can I learn this? Uh, what is the method, the process of learning that, not just in uh, subjects in kickboxing or in swimming and every area when they, wherever there is a learning requirement, the natural question was how can I learn this faster and easier, brisk and enjoyable manner. Another beautiful thing I think the most enjoyable phase in my life was uh, this, you know my son had this friends who were very brilliant in like there was one boy who was very brilliant in economics and business studies, another girl was very brilliant in biology and uh, so I got all these children together uh, and we used to stay in a house together, parents were kind enough to uh, you know, let these children um, come and stay with us and I will, we were doing this experiment of how, why is, what is the belief system of these children and how these children are able to learn so fast. So, we, even I started learning biology and economics and all from these children and uh, you know we tried to decode or de um, or, uh, demystify brilliance. I think that helped a lot the literature, uh, interaction with uh, experienced educationists and children who were brisk. Uh, when we started uh, having success with a few like a few hundred students, then we started doing workshops at various schools, learning skill workshops and subjects demystified, brilliance demystified was our theme. And then uh, there is a time when we thought that you see the, the concept of neuroplasticity as many of you might know that uh, if you do something for a certain number of days regularly and you know then it becomes a uh, part of our you know brain or that methodology becomes irrevocably ingrained in our brain. So, that is when we thought of uh, transforming this into a, a software platform Emerge Ventures Singapore played a big role and uh, the software professionals 
educationists, pedagogists, researchers, scientists all came together, joined medic from medical profession, doctors. Uh, we, they all parents of these children who um, were going through the difficulty, even they contributed. So that's how and this idea snowball, um, grew into a platform and now a movement. Okay. If you ask for a core belief, I think it is uh, that knowledge is worth celebrating. Mm -hmm. Celebration of knowledge is that brings the real change in learning. That's a core belief. And everybody can celebrate knowledge. A company's service is uh, primarily to the students, uh, that is in the Brilliance Demystified Workshop, and for parents who are taught the principles of, um, who are trained on the principles of um, pa parenting and uh, how parent can become a mentor and a coach for their children some and uh, for teachers about different various principles of integrated learning integrated teaching differentiated uh, teaching and learning so these are some of the services we are giving to students parents and teachers and uh, we are giving it uh, now right now our focus is in kerala and in uae especially dubai